He holds a pivotal position in global diplomacy, yet the words of the UK's ambassador to the United States, Kim Darroch, are anything but diplomatic, leaving the British government writhing in embarrassment and expressing its deep regret. In leaked memos, the Trump White House is described as uniquely dysfunctional, clumsy and inept. U.S. policy on Iran is incoherent, chaotic. The ambassador concludes we don't really believe this administration is going to become substantially more normal, less dysfunctional, less unpredictable. The Prime Minister's office said she disagreed with the content of the memos, but Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt was keen to defend the eyes and ears of the government in foreign capitals. Of course, we made, I made it clear that uh, I don't share uh, the ambassador's assessment of either the US administration or uh, relations with the US administration. But I do defend his right to make that frank assessment, and it's very important that our diplomats all over the world continue to be able to do so. The leaks come just weeks after President Donald Trump and his family were fated with all the pomp and majesty of a state visit to the UK. How easily all of that effort, the unthinkable expense of it, might now be squandered. There are concerns in the corridors of Whitehall about the possible fallout for UK-US relations. Ministers and civil servants here don't need a memo from Washington to tell them that President Trump is rather better at making criticisms than receiving them. Theresa May has ordered an inquiry to try and find the source of the leak with suggestions that criminal charges should apply. I think it's extremely serious and it's serious because it fundamentally undermines uh, the confidence that our envoys can have that the messages they send back will be kept private. Now that puts at risk uh, the ability of the British government to have the best possible advice on which to make policy decisions in relation to foreign affairs. The ambassador may retain the Prime Minister's trust for now, but she won't be Prime Minister for much longer. Theresa May's successor will prioritise achieving Brexit and consequently the need to maintain the best relations possible with the United States. Very soon, therefore, London will likely be looking for a new ambassador in Washington. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera.